So therefore, R1 dash must be multiplied by a factor of 0.7788. Oh, this thing is... Which adjusts the radius in order to account for internal flux. And that applies only to solid round conductor. Okay. Then we've got flux linkages in a, one conductor in a group, and inductance of a composite conductor lines, and then we get one hell of a formula there. I don't know if it's switch off the light, if it'll be better. There. So you see that is, it looks daunting. But it's really not. And then all right, they say note that the numerator of the argument is M times N. The M is the number of conductors and N is the number of Y conductors. Okay, let's look at an example. They gave us on page 158 in my book, they have something like this. Right, the distance between the two bundles is nine meters. And the distance here between these lines of one line is six meters. And uh, right, one circuit of the single phase transmission line is composed of three solid comma two five centimeter radius y and the return circuit is composed of two comma five millimeter or centimeter sorry radius now we must find the inductance due to the current in each side of the line and the inductance of the complete circuit. Now, we look at the GMD for X. This is line X and that is line Y. So DM, come on. There are three conductors. All right, first to four. That is then A, B, and C, and D and E. Now that is the M nth root of D, A, D from A to D times D, A to C times D from B to D and B to E. And then we've got times D, C, D, and D, C, E. So now the distance from A to D is nine, and B to E is nine, 
And now we have to figure the distance from A to E. So, D, A, E is going to be we used Pythagoras that is 9 and that is 6 so that will be the square root of 36 plus 81 what do you get that Square root of 117. 10.82. Pardon? 10.82. Okay, 10.82. So now A, A to C is what? 12. 12. Okay, and BD? BD. Will be again the same as AE. So, all right, let's say there's three, which is M, and two, which is N. So that's the sixth root of, we said DAD is nine, DAC, What happened to D A D D A C D B E? Okay, D A C. What is the difference there? Eh? Ten point eight two. Ten point eight two times B D. Again, it's ten point eight two, no? times BE, which is nine, times CD, will be that part. So the CD is gonna be the square root of 12 squared plus nine squared. 50. Right? 15. 15. Yes, because yes. the square root of 2 to 5. All right, CD is then 15. And CE will be again 10.82. No? Now, if we multiply all of these things together and get the sixth root, we will find what is dm. Ten point seven five. Okay, that's close enough. I actually got ten point seven four three, but that okay, that's fine. So I have a question. Yes. Why are you saying from A to C is ten point eight two? Is it not going to be twelve? Because it's six plus six. Yes, that's right. Sorry, that must be twelve. No. Yes. Yeah. My bad, sorry. But wait a second. 
BAB and then AB and AC. And then we've got BD. and BE, and then DCD and DCE. That's AE, man, not C. Sorry. Are you fine with that now? It's from A to D, and then A to E, then from B to D and B to E, and then C to D and C to E. So that'll be the GMD. Geometric mean diameter. Okay, and now, we must find the GMR of each line. So GMR of X is gonna be the number of conductors cubed. So that'll be nine times DAA times D A V times D A C times D D B times D B C times D C C one two three four five six. All right, and then we must go back. D, C, B, and D, C, A. So they must be nine. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, what does I miss? D, B, A. Huh? D, B, A. Okay, so it's from there to there and back. From there to there and back. From there to there and back. And now DAA, remember it's a solid conductor, no? So therefore, DAA is going to be 0 0.25, times comma seven seven eight eight all right let's summer start with all of that so that'll be the ninth root now there are three conductors now so that'll be cubed okay d a b a six BC is six and CB is six and BA is six. So this two four. And then from D A C is twelve. And C two A is back. Now you can add this. And that must give you nine. So three plus four, seven plus two is nine. So that means now you've got everything fixed up. So now you can calculate that value. Ninth root of 0.25 times 0.7788 cubed, six to the power of four and 12 to the power of two.
Okay, anyone got an answer yet? Uh-uh, I don't like that. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, Let me please mute everyone. Well, it was just that one that I can see. Okay. Somebody got an answer? 2.232. Mm -mm. What's the answer here? No, you must give me the right answer. No. Zero comma four Okay. Oh. Uh, this one, remember? Mm, my bad. Is point two five centimeter. So it's ten to the minus. Two times point seven seven eight eight. All of that cubed times six to the fourth twelve squared. Mm -hmm. That'll make a difference, I think. Zero comma four eight. Hey, give that man a whiskey. Right, so that is comma four eight meters. Now we have to check the GMR of line Y. There's only two conductors, so that means it's the fourth root of point zero five times ten minus two. Point seven seven eight eight. There are two of them, and the distance there is six squared. It's zero comma one five two eight two nine. Okay. One five two nine. Okay. Let me finish the three, man. 
Right. Now we can determine the inductance of line X. That will be two times 10 to the power of minus seven, ln dm over gmr. So that'll be two times 10 to the power of minus seven, ln 10, 743 over 0.41481. For you that came late, this is Example 4.2 in my book, page 158. So anyone got an answer for that? Six comma two and two times ten to the power negative seven. Henry's per meter. Now Ly is two times ten to the power of minus seven. Lin Vm over GMR of Y. So again, two times 10 to the minus seven, lin 10 comma 74 divided by 0 comma And then it's per meter. So the total L is L of X plus the L of Y. That is 14,7. One five times ten minus seven and then it's per meter. Okay. Then paragraph four point nine we can skip. And then inductance of three phase lines with equilateral spacing. You remember that stuff from engineering three, I think, for a uh, Equilateral spacing there with the distance D. And D. That'll be two times ten minus seven ln D over D S. And D S is gonna be the cube root of D times D times 2D. Is that right? Yeah. Just that. So that'll be the same. All right, that is for symmetrical spacing. Then we get unsymmetrical spacing, which you've all done. So, Let's say like that. 
D1, D2, and D3 is a conductor and conductor. So L is now going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 7 times the ln of the cube root of D12 times D13 times D23 divided by Ds. So they say that the average inductance per phase is that divided by dS. So tell average is 2 times 10 to the power of minus 7 ln d equivalent over dS. Okay, let's look at an example. Then we get inductance calculations for bundled conductors. E man. This is where things start getting fun. If we have two conductors with a distance D. Can you please look at the page? What? Can you see it now? Can you please lower the pin? Yeah. Let me just get rid of this. <laughs> so, now D is for a bundle. Will be. There's two conductors, so that's fourth root of ds times d. And then if we simplify that, oh, all squared now, nah. then that becomes the square root of ds times d. Right, let's see for this. Also d. Remember, nth squared so that means there's three conductors, so that will be the square root of nine of ds times d times d. Okay. 
cute. And that gives us cube root of ds t squared. Four stranded bundle. D is B, it's going to be the 16th root of D is times D times D times that square root 2 because that's D and D and D and D. So that's D squared and D squared. That means it's 2 square root 2 d four of them that is simplified to 1 comma 0 9 fourth root of d s times d cubed Right. Now, if we have to do this from first principles, we're going to say we've got that and that. So let's call that A and B. So that will be the fourth root of D A A times D A B times D B A times D B B. Now let's say we've got this one. The radius of this is one centimeter. So that means it will be 0 0.7788 times 2 times 10 minus 2. There are 